This thing is recording. Yeah, but we got light the thing here. I know. We, we don't I know. even know what we what we what we look like. We ain't co we ain't ghosts. <laughs> and if I push it, it's gonna stop. Yeah, we are not ghosts. Let's see how it works. No. Still going. Welcome to the claw. My name is Duchess. I'm Claudia. And we value your opinion, so please uh, let us know your opinion in the comments section below. Today we're going to talk about abuse and um, in different forms. We had this man who was, was a Caden, I mean, he was a sheriff, worked in the police department, worked with his best, you know, best buddy, the canine. She was a female, but they found out he was having sex with her, so sex with the dog, yeah. And so he was filming it, and they run across some, soon as two days after he got out of jail for the, uh, with the dog and got charges for the dog, well, he had pornographic material for children. And so that's when they found this all out. So that lets you know that all cops... Are not good cops. Are not good cops. Uh, there are some cops who do some devilish shit. Because you know the sleep with a dog is is to me to have sex with an animal is just degrading. I know that this man can find a woman, and I guess he didn't have no wife because if he was in there screwing that dog and the police dog go home with him, well then I guess that was his woman. And we also had somebody like that in Salina too. That yeah, was having right. sex with um with a dog. And he would wait till the neighbors leave and they called him a several times and told him if he come back, they won't call the police on him. What they should have did was call the police on his ass when he got out there the first time. But if it was me, I caught him with my dog, I think I would have beat his ass first and I'd have called the police later. That's exactly what I would have done. He was raping a uh animal, a poor defenseless a dog. That's, I mean, you know, you can't get no lower than that. But uh, he was, he was a young boy, and he should have known better. But that's, uh, he didn't. Obviously, he had some mental health issues. But the police officer was not young. No. Yeah, he was grown. Yeah. And then we go on to cover um, abuse with um, children. Some, you know, um, I was reading this, and this happened in Wichita. And this guy was on Facebook, and he was married, to, not married. He was going with this chick for two years. And her name was, you know, T. Clark. You know, I won't say her first name. And while he was gone to work, he had a little daughter about six years old, something like that, a five. On the side of her face right here, she had done slapped that little girl, and she bit her. And she punched her in the stomach while the uh, daddy was at work. And when he go pick up the kids, you know, he always told his kids, say, you can talk to me. Anything going on, just let me know. But his children did not tell him. That's why you need to look for the signs. And he mm -hmm. thought by, I done been with this woman this long. I could trust her with my kids. You know, I am a stepmom myself. And, you know, I would never, ever, it wouldn't even cross my mind to do some bullshit like that. But you got to look for the signs. If you don't look for the signs and you just go pick them up and say, hey, is there anything we need to talk about? Everything cool? They're going to be like, yeah, everything's okay. But, you know, you don't know what that grown person is telling that child, you know. And so happened this girl, this female was, what, 26 years old, mm -hmm. somewhere in there, 28. And he could have been the same age. And there was a lot of comments on there, you know, like some dude said, man, dog, what's wrong with you? You should have beat her ass. He didn't know at the time. But when he did find out about it, bitch had got MIA. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but he could still go and press charges against her. And that's what he needs to do. And now his little baby girl is traumatized. He's going to have to get some therapy for her. And she actually wouldn't talk, you know, and it was going to happen again and again. And the mother of the child, he was jealous of their relationship. Well, 
You're the mama. I'm the daddy. Mm -hmm. Me and you ain't together no more, but we got a child together, right? So right. we're going to act like grown adults. And co-parent. And co-parent, right, yes. and not be rude. Excuse me. Not be rude in front of our children. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we don't want our child feeling like, Mommy, why you hate daddy? Or right. daddy, why you hate mommy? Yep. You know, I don't want my child growing up like that. And so he got along with the mother, so she got jealous and thought something was going on with the baby mama so she was and the daddy. And she was mistreating the child. And she was mistreating the child, and those was the reason that she was doing it. But that still is not no excuse for it, because when, when I found out she was in Wichita, Kansas, and I live in Kansas, when they get that ass, she gonna wish she had never done it because uh, they gonna put her in jail because see we don't have kids here mm -hmm. where the girlfriend done left the baby with the boy and they didn't yep and the, the child children. was found up under the bed with a broken neck and the child died God rest her soul and other children that's been abused and mistreated. been here and, and, and these and kids are killing they are dying yes because these women. They are leaving their kids with these men and going out here working while they letting that man stay home and not work no damn job. That's what that is. Let his ass go to work, send your child to the babysitter or to a family member that you can trust. And you got to watch them family members too. Now, I'm not just getting on talking about the women. You know, men... Our women can be abusive too. Yes, they Just can. like this is the first time I heard why this female abused this little girl. But there's a bunch of more of them out there. There's a woman that's being charged now. Uh, they found her little boy he had been starved to death in Wichita in a hotel. Uh, the little boy, they, and they found meth in his system. Oh, I think Lord. he was about 18 months old. And the police thought he had medical issues. Well, he had medical issues, all right. Uh, you know, old broken bones. I mean, beautiful kid, and he's no longer here. Kids are being murdered every day, right around us. And you know but, but we just continue. yesterday on Facebook, did you see that woman snorting cocaine and had a yep. little baby there? Yes, I sure that did. baby wasn't no more than what eight and a half months. Yeah, a nine least. months. And yeah, you know? she was snorting. Yeah, but they do some terrible. And things. they said, make that go viral. If you see that video, yes. make it go viral so they can get that bitch and they can lock her up. It's, it's the children are being abused every day, and we overlook it. Kids are being sex trafficked right here on our very nose, and we don't pay attention and to Atlanta it. And uh, Atlanta is the is the capital of sex human trafficking yep. for children, yep. which is which is sad. You know, yeah, we gotta we gotta look out over our kids because everything is happening now. The devil is busy. You know, they say we're living in the last time. Yeah, cause but you we, know what? And this starts at the top and it goes all the way down. Yes. I mean, you know, uh, I was admonished today on Facebook. Uh, but, you know, hey, I, I think I handled it well. A uh, girl that I've been knowing for a long time uh, saying that, uh, like, Donald Trump is some great Christian, but he's uh, going and bragging about grabbing uh, women by the pussies. But yet and still, she said that's not true, that I'm just one of the ones that's just been bought up by mainstream media. I believe everything I hear. No, I say I believe what the man said. He, he said it out of his own mouth. It was taped. Mm -hmm. It was taped, and he said it out of his own mouth. He talked about three black women that's a member of Congress about they need to go back where they came from because one of them was Muslim or two of them was Muslim women. And, uh, you know, you want to talk about black women. but Which he's black, was United States right. citizens. And, but, he, but he's not, but she said he's not racist. He's a Christian. He's a good man. Who who would I vote for? I said it doesn't matter who I would vote for. Uh, I don't know I right vote, now, I uh, but I would, never, uh, uh, I would never uh, fix my lips to say that this this man is a Christian. Uh, yeah, we, we, he was said something about the Bible. I would, I would about, not vote uh, for him. Uh, Look how he done those children over there thank in the you. camps and stuff. Yes. And then when it came to helping these people, that's why right now they're thinking about impeaching him. But they should have been, they but been impeaching him. But we're getting off the subject. 
Um, he's but, abusive. So the abuse of power, abuse of uh, of of grabbing women uh, and grabbing them and kissing them and grabbing them and fondling them. That's all abuse. Okay, that is abuse. And it starts at the top and it goes all the way down. All his little friends, like the man that supposedly killed himself in jail, they got a picture of him with okay, Trump kissing a young girl. Okay, what about those pictures? How come we ain't making them go viral? I know she looked like she all was about girl, 15. All the underage girl that he raped that uh, exactly. is going to be investigations on that also. But it shouldn't matter how much power and money you got. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. But it does matter. That you be able to get away with shit and get a pat on the back. For 30 or 40 you years, know, you know. They can, they can put R. Kelly. Or Bill Cosby. Oh, yeah, you want to put the black people in jail. Uh, not that they shouldn't be there. Oh, that, not that they shouldn't be there. Okay, uh, I am not going to defend Bill Cosby or R. Kelly perverted asses. But Donald Trump should be sitting up in jail right with them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right beside him. Right side. What's his name? Uh, um... Which Wine, one? Uh, the one starts with that. Weinstein. Weinstein. Oh, he's still walking around free. Weinstein. No, he's not. Oh, he's in jail now. Oh, they wouldn't give him no, no. Um, uh, they wouldn't give him no bail. No, okay. not Weinstein. No, the, the other, other guy that just oh, killed yeah. you. Know, uh, uh. He, oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Mm -hmm. And well, he was in jail, but mm -hmm. no, Weinstein's still walking around now, free. Now check this out. The abuse of power. Okay, since we're talking about different kind of abuse, we got abuse. this girl. We it's got abuse. We got this homeless lady. Is black. She lied because she wanted her child in a good school. Mm -hmm. Now, you had this woman come off that TV show mm -hmm. who paid for her child to get in a, a good college. university. Yes. Now, they gave her probation. 14 days. 14 days, but they gave this girl five years. Yep. Something need to be done about that. Somebody need to send that up there and let them discuss that. What's the difference between them two, black and, and white? white. It's and called just to us. J-U-S-T. Not U -S. just us. Just to us. Not and that that means brown, brown versus brown versus brown. All of us are brown color. That's not getting just us. But Trump sitting up there with his fat, orange head ass. Uh, look at all white. He raped his first wife. What about that? When she came out and said, uh, he raped his first wife, the one that was from Russia, he raped her. Wow. And so, uh, yeah, I know that all came out before he was president, but we will, we love to put perverts in the White House, but we will, but let Barack Obama wear a tan suit and we have some shit to say about that. What about that? Uh, say something, people. Well, you know, I see it like this as um Trump ain't my president and 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 for you white people who uh, want to sit up there and say he's still my president it he will to. never be my president he's not, not making, ever. he's not making America great he's dividing no. America the devil is busy we may be living in the last days you never know because you're not supposed to fornicate you're not supposed to have sex with animals you're not, You're not supposed to molest children. You're not supposed to lie, steal, kill. Okay? And, and you know what Trump said? I'll be a worship um, of devils. Idol, idol worshiper. And all this stuff is going around. So it makes you wonder, you know, the devil is trying to get how many he can get, who he can get. Then you got a lot of kids out here committing suicide. You got mm -hmm. a lot of movie stars now are committing suicide. And they got all this money. It ain't about money. You know, there's Robin Williams. It just blew me away when he done what he did, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot going on, and the devil is talking to him, and we got to be stronger, and we got to believe in a... Um, higher power. A higher power, because uh, Trump don't control this earth. Trump is not the one to make America great, or to make the, un uh, the whole world great. God is. That's why he gave his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. Trump is so he Satan, would carry our sins a Satan follower, a Satan worshiper. To the cross. He can't even say oh, oh, what's in the Bible. He, what did he Trump say? Trump's father uh, was first, part of first the KKK. Galatia, I don't know. Oh, his, his father was. His grandpa was, his a, was a pimp. Yes. His, his daddy sold uh, liquor, liquor illegally. So okay. there is stuff in his background. They knew about that before they mistakenly, they thought that he wasn't going to win. Then when they put him in office, they saw how selfish and arrogant and that ignorant. he was, you know, just a rich, spoiled brat.
ignorant and, you know, people don't want to go up against him. He done crossed the line. That's why they want to impeach him. They should have been had him out. But you know what? It needs to go back the way it used to be when people were, the people controlled, brought their problems to the Congress. Everybody got along at the Congress and worked toward the, toward the, the good for the people, what was good for America. They're not doing that. They're bickering in the White House. They're doing this. They're doing this. They all need to come together on one accord. For us, that abuse. For us, the abuse between a man and a woman. And we'll cover this in elderly. And then we'll come back at a later date. Uh, when it comes to abuse and, you know, they'll be saying, well, I don't know how you stick with that man, you know. it always be your girlfriend talking about, you need to leave that, that ass. You know, you need to, uh, he better not put his hands on you while I'm here. And that has happened. You know, where I have got in, in the venus said, you put, you put your hands on him. Just put your hands on him, you want to. I bust you side the head with this damn bottle right here. And he sat there and looked at me like, you, 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 uh, you, you, you think you bad. You think you bad, don't you? You think you bad, don't you, Duchess? No, nigga. Excuse me for saying nigga, but no, I, I'm at a club. No, I'm not bad. You think you bad. Now, she don't come out here with me. We kicking it. We can't even have a ladies night. You gonna make her get out the car. You gonna make her get up in the car with you. Oh, you gonna get physical. This ain't no Olivia John. Let's get physical. Physical? Oh no. I told him don't even pull on my car. I wasn't driving no uh, Lamborghini, no Bugatti, but it was my Bugatti. But I told him, don't you put your hands on my car. And I was driving a four door Ford es Escort. So I told him, don't put your hand on it. I said, go ahead on. Get on out of there. When you bend down, I'm going to bring this ball across your head. I bet you'll, be, you'll hit this damn ground. He talked shit. He walked off, but he didn't get the prize. He probably was just horny that night. Oh, well, that's on him. But he did not put his hands on her. Now, you would think by me talking the way I'm talking, that you would think that a man never abused me. I went through abuse with my first relationship, with my first husband. You know, there's red signs we don't look at. Oh, I'm so in love. You know, oh, this and oh, that. Lord forbid if you're a virgin and you get with somebody, you think the world sits and shits on that man or on that woman, and it is not true. But, you know, we was good. But when I married that mother, mother, scusser, let me tell you, he turned. He got to hanging out there with them white boys. Them white boys and introduced him to the goddamn white lady. Which at that time, I didn't know who the white lady was. I was looking for a white lady to whoop her ass. I didn't know it was some damn form of powder. Cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Because I bent. fight it a bit. He got turned. Yeah. Yes, he got bent. And he was working on jacuzzis. And then, you know, he would like come up in there. I'm ironing clothes. No, let me back up. I'm cooking. The food's not ready. This Negro slaps me up in my face by slaps the taste out of my mouth. I just sit down and say, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't know you was going to be off work this early. And then half of the time I thought he was going to work. He wasn't going to work. He was out there drinking and doing that coke. And, you know, he'd come home, get on me, and I'm started trying to get up on this ladder. How high can I go? You know, I'm trying to please you. I'm doing everything to please you, but you just ain't satisfied. I am not your child. You're not my father. My father ain't never laid his hands on me. And then here you is. You done gave me a black eye. I'm going over to mama with my shades on. What's wrong with you? Now, take them shades off. Mom, don't worry about it. Take them shades off. You know how them southern women here. Mm -hmm. I took them off. I said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 
or when abuse is extended over to my children. Yep. You know, when you get angry with me, you want to start trying to whoop my kids, and then you're not whooping them with, with, with your hand or something like that. You want to go get a fucking extension cord. Like, you don't lost your fucking mind yep. and stuff. And, you know, stuff just built up, and I, you know, I took this abuse for over seven years. Then you say, your family is the problem. You know, we moved to Topeka. God dang, we get down there, the same shit going on. I thought you said my family was the issue. You don't move me away from my family. You still with the same shit putting your goddamn hands on me. Now you're going out, you ain't bringing your ass home. You got my nerves a fucking wreck. Yeah. I can't hardly handle this shit. And that's what some women go through. But I am a strong woman. I didn't used to be this outspoken how you see me talking on this mug now. I was very shy. But I guess something just broke up in the camera back and I pulled the damn needle out. Because one day I was watching Shaka Zulu. I like Shaka Zulu when Nettie said, Never with Shaka leave an enemy behind. Nobody would put their hands on Shaka. He come up in there. I was frying, the food was stinking, smelling good, but it wasn't ready. And then, you know, he got on my kids, started talking to them, did them and stuff, which, you know, his kids, but the point is. Then he came over there by me. I'm ironing, the, I'm ironing his damn, I, I don't know what I was ironing, girl. Was it his clothes or what? Probably. I'm sitting like I'm in the color purple. I had never seen the color purple yet then. They had never come out with it. Baby, when he slapped the taste out of my mouth, he didn't have no shirt on. I just took that damn iron and I pressed it right up in that chest. And he did a hallelujah. And I told him, I said, look here. Don't put your, don't put your hands on me. Don't touch me. We'll be just fine. You can cuss and say whatever you want to say, but you better not damn well touch me no more. You better not put your hands on my kids no more. I said, matter of fact, you see this? I grabbed that goddamn stitching cord his fucking ass had, and I went to striking him. I was like, I'm, you know, you swinging like fighting like, like this. I went to swinging that sucker. He was like, oh, 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 that hurt. I said, that's how I was hurting my kids. Don't touch them no goddamn more. Don't touch them. Well, we didn't have to worry about old pimp daddy for a while. I still dealt with the verbal abuse, you know. And then one, well, we'll have to cover that other part of the abuse for us, the lady and the men and the um, elderly. The next time we'll continue part two of the abuse. Thank y'all for joining. Welcome to the claw. Leave us your opinion. We hope this video come out right. We have no comments on him. We didn't go live on Facebook. We're going to see what this is going to be like. And y'all have a blessed day. Okay, okay Claudia. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.